in this video, I want to talk um, about needle safety and, and proper needle disposal. Um, it's very important to us at Liberty Career College that uh, everyone is safe when it comes to disposing of and using needles. Uh, we don't want to see um, people handling needles in an unsafe way, which might lead to an accidental needle stick. So um, there are many different uh, types of needles that you're, you're going to probably be using. The, the um, vacutainer needle, a hypodermic syringe and needle, and, uh, and the butterfly needle. So let's talk about uh, starting off with the vacutainer needle. Let's kind of talk a little bit about uh, some safety considerations when you're actually um, pulling it out of the supply room or the supply uh, drawer, and uh, and then now you're getting ready to put it together. Um, when you when you uh, take this needle and um, and prepare for it to be inserted into the adapter, you're going to just simply hold this pink portion and twist the white portion of the cap so that it, it um, separates from the top half and, uh, and exposes this male adapter which goes into the uh, lure of the uh, plastic adapter. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now you'll notice that the needle is still covered. Uh, while it's covered, we want you to pull this safety device back so, you, so you're not pulling the device back close to the needle which is underneath the cap at this point. Then of course when you uh, need to expose the needle, you're going to take two fingers and just loosen it. It's already on fairly loose but we're just going to loosen it and when you're ready to use it, you can place it down and get everything ready, but when you're ready to use it, I want you to lift your adapter about 10 inches above the table and then just slide it, uh, use your finger to just sort of encourage it to, uh, to slide off. Okay? We do it this way so that the needle doesn't accidentally touch the table or any other supplies, the paper, and contaminate the needle before we put it in the patient's um, arm. Okay, so remember, I want to see your, your hands above the table as you loosen that cap off. If you need to recap your needle, we don't use two hands to recap. We simply do what's called a one-handed one scoop method where you're just going to take the needle and scoop it right inside the cap and lift it up. And, uh, and that'll allow you to recap your needle if you need to start over. Okay, so uh, anyhow, again, that's how you take the cap off safely. Notice how I keep my fingers at all times away from the tip of the needle so that I don't uh, ever uh, place my fingers in a position where I can stick myself. When I'm done with this, I'm going to take with one hand, I'm going to activate the safety device using the table or any hard surface to actually press the needle into the pink safety device. You'll hear an audible click which tells you if the safety device is now engaged. And this is where it gets real important. When you're ready to throw it away, um, I want you to take uh, and place the, the needle above the mouth of the sharps container and then drop it in. Notice how my fingers didn't go into the mouth, it just dropped the device above. And the reason for that is because there might be another needle inside sticking up and I don't want to stick myself um, with a needle, a contaminated needle inside the sharps container. So again, drop it from above the sharps. A lot of people have a difficult time with this because they want to, they want to guide the needle into the mouth um, all the way down below the mouth and then that's where accidental needle sticks really uh, increase. Okay, so let's do the, let's use the hypodermic needle. Um, when, you, when you open up a hypodermic needle, uh, this can be a little tricky for some people. Um, we're going to actually take the top half of the wrapping there, leave this portion uh, of the wrapper on the table. It's, it's uh, considered a sterile, sorry, it just flipped over. But it's, uh, it's still somewhat of a sterile field. And if I need to place my syringe back in there, it's kind of a clean area, whereas out here on, on the outside, it's not so sterile. Um, so always make sure to tighten the cap, which also tightens the needle. Uh, tighten it, and then, uh, and then take it off safely. And I'll show you in class how, how we're just going to grab the, we're going to grab the uh, syringe barrel with three fingers and, and the palm of our hands. And then with our thumb and index finger, we're going to grab the base of the cap. The cap is this long portion here. The barrel is this bottom portion. So we're going to grab the bottom and push the top forward until the cap is loosened. Don't ever take the cap off at this point. Uh, we're just going to place it back into our little sterile compartment until we're ready to use it. When we're ready to use it, we're just going to let the cap slide off like this, which now exposes the needle. Again, make sure you're several inches, maybe 10 inches above the surface of the table so that when you take your cap off, your needle doesn't touch the surface of the table or the paper or any other supplies and contaminate that needle that's going to be going into the patient's arm.
okay? So um, these needles, if you need to recap, again, we only use what's called a one-handed scoop method where we take the needle and scoop it right into the cap like this, and, uh, and then we pull the cap on firmly. Notice how I'm always, my fingers are always away from the tip of that needle, okay? Um, when you're ready to throw this away, Again, you're just going to direct this over the sharps with your fingers above the sharp, the mouth of the sharps. You're just going to go ahead and drop that in. Don't allow your fingers to go in too deep. Uh, moving on to the butterfly needle. Butterfly needles are kind of tricky because butterfly needles can, uh, can really lead to accidental injury. You'll notice if you look really close, there's a little band across. See that plastic band? Always take that off first and you can throw that in your trash. And then uh, we're going to just loosen and unkink the line. Uh, when you're ready to perform a procedure with the butterfly, you're going to grab these two wings with your thumb and index finger. You can use your dominant or non-dominant side. And with the other hand, you're going to grab the cap. And you're just simply going to very quickly, deliberately separate hands like this. Okay? It's a deliberate separation so that you don't go back and stick your finger. All right? Now, these are never recapped. Uh, they have... They have safety devices. If you actually pull on this tubing while you're grabbing the wings, you'll notice that um, it actually pulls the needle down into this tail uh, and safely hides. When you're ready to dispose of these, you're going to just grab the adapter, direct the needle into the sharps, and then drop, drop the adapter behind it without your fingers actually going into the mouth. Now please remember that most of your supplies, including all your trash on the table, um, is regular trash. It doesn't go into the sharps. You'll notice how I took the paper and some of the trash. I placed it inside one glove and I turned one glove inside one over the other, just like that. Now, make sure that all your trash goes into the regular trash down here. Uh, remember to check for needles because needles go in the sharps, not in the regular trash. And then you're ready to begin the next procedure. Okay, thank you very much.